I suppose we've got to talk about Charlotte and Becky here, right? Because we haven't talked about it here on this show, even though there's mm-hmm. so much to talk about. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it quick. And uh, sometimes I preface these things by saying, you know, I'm going to talk slowly and clearly to make sure that everybody understands exact. I don't even care anymore. There's always going to be a subset that's so dumb that they misinterpret and they hear whatever they want to hear. So if you want to do that, whatever. I don't care. i got better things to do. Here's the deal, everybody. If you didn't see what happened, uh, they announced that they were going to be doing a title, a championship swap. Because Becky and Charlotte were the champions of their specific brands. They're switching brands. And they couldn't figure out anything to do. The only solution. We are stuck. This shoot draft and these shoot matches has screwed up everything. Now we are forced to do a championship swap. Which they did a year ago with the tag team titles. And made everybody involved look stupid. Made the titles look like props and jokes. But hey, we got to do it again with the women's titles. And of course, Becky and Charlotte and nobody thinks this is a good idea. And so they're upset about it and it ends up in the ring, live on television. And Charlotte is in the ring with Becky and Sonya Deville is there. And Charlotte is told, you've got to hand over your title and she realizes how dumb this is and Becky realizes how dumb this is. So Charlotte kind of puts, but then she keeps it away, and they're playing a game of keep away, and Becky has to lunge for the belt, and then Charlotte drops it. And so Becky looks stupid. And so then Becky backs up, and now she's over it. And you could just see the look on her face. And you can hear what's going through her head. And then Charlotte is told by Sonya to pick the belt up. Sonya's furious, by the way. And Charlotte has to pick up the belt, and she gives the belt to Sonya. And then Becky wants to get the belt so that she can do her Becky two belts thing. But now Sonya's over and she's like, no, we're not doing this tonight. Just give me your belt. And so now Becky's mad and Becky throws the belt at Charlotte and it bonks off her and lands on the ground. And now Sonya's really upset and it's just a disaster on television. And of course, when the segment's over, Becky, she threw down her mic so hard and she got out of there. And then they go to the back and Charlotte goes to the back and... They're at Gorilla, right in front of Vince and Bruce Pritchard. They start screaming at each other. Becky's screaming at Charlotte, you made me look stupid. Charlotte says, I didn't mean to drop the belt. It was an accident. Everyone's angry at Charlotte. Charlotte's told, you've got to leave the building. You know, the stories are, she left the building, everybody. I was specifically told that she was escorted out by security. Other people are saying she was asked to leave the building. Whatever. She was asked to leave the building because she was unprofessional. And now we have to find out, well, where are they going to go with this? Because you know, and I know, that now they're going to try to turn this into an angle. They're going to try to turn this into some heat for the Survivor Series match. And of course, it's going to, we'll see if Becky wants to go along with this because Becky was furious at Charlotte. Sonya Deville was furious at Charlotte. The only way this would have been better is if Charlotte would have tried something and Sonya would have just snapped. Because I don't know if you know this about Sonya, but she was a, she was an MMA fighter. So I think that that would have been the only way that any of this could have been more exciting on television. But here's what I want to say about this. I want to make this clear, even though I'm not going to say it slowly and clearly, because if you're too stupid to figure out what I'm talking about here, that's your problem, not mine. What Charlotte did was absolutely, completely unprofessional. To do that on television, to not hand over the title, to make her co-worker look stupid, absolutely, completely unprofessional. With that said, do you know why stuff like this gets on television? Do you know why championship swaps end up in the ring? Do you know why you see so much stupid booking on television? Because nobody stands up for themselves. Now, I'm not saying that nobody argues about whether or not something is stupid or not. Because you know what? There's been a lot of stupid stuff that's been ending up on television over the last... Since uh, fall of 2018 was when I really saw everything go all to hell. There's been so much stuff, and I've seen one argument after another. Well, I shouldn't have seen it. I wasn't there. But I've been told about one argument after another. Talent thinks something is stupid. Let's do it this way. You know what happens? They're told no. Well, let's do it. Th- no. Let's do it. No. Vince wants it this way, so this is the way you're going to do it. And they end up going out there and doing something stupid. Granted, all of this should have happened in the back, and 
somewhat to her credit, Charlotte made it very clear long before they went out on television that this is stupid, we shouldn't be doing this, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Vince says go do it. Vince says go do it. Well, I'm not saying that what Charlotte did on television was right, okay? It was wrong. However, if you think I feel one shred of sympathy for Vince McMahon, one shred of sympathy for Bruce Pritchard, one shred of sympathy for the people that are writing this stupid stuff that makes everybody look stupid, and finally, live on television, somebody flipped their lid. Should she have flipped her lid on live television? No. But you know what? She flipped her lid. Why? Because this has been building up for a long, long time. And every time we see something stupid on television, oh, this would have never happened. Where are the guys like Austin and Shawn Michaels? Which, by the way, Shawn Michaels was very, very unprofessional as well. I'm not saying that he should have done this unprofessional stuff that he did. But you know what? There was a time when people stood up for some really stupid stuff. And you know what? Sometimes they convinced Vince to not do this really stupid stuff. Well, now he lives in an echo chamber. Now he lives in this this gilded palace with a bunch of old folks that are all in his ear telling him how great all of his ideas are, and now the show sucks. I'm not saying that what she did was right, but you know what? We do need more people standing up for this stupid stuff and getting this stuff off television! A championship swap? It was stupid! And I, man, going into this, I was just, oh man, what a stupid idea. And you know what, on my on my timeline, so many people had 85,000 better ideas for how they could have handled this championship situation, but they went with the dumbest possible solution, and they paid for it, and I laughed! Was she right? Of course not! Should it have happened on live television? Of course not! But did I laugh when it finally did? Yes! It's about time. So anyway, now now the fun backstage is going to be how they spin this situation. And first off, what they're going to do is they're going to try to turn this into some sort of storyline for Survivor Series. And then they're going to try to convince the stupid people in their audience that it was all by design from day one. Because that's what they do. But you know what? It wasn't by design. What happened, happened. Now they're going to try to to save their asses. Good luck. I can't wait to see it. And boy, Becky, I hope she stands up for herself. We'll see how it goes. I have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row, dying laughing. And I may go do that after the show is over because this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one more time. <laughs> it allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> the top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.